tomatoes. <laughs> yeah, I want to rant about store-bought tomatoes. The people are always complaining. You know, people thought that I was growing hot house tomatoes, uh, uh, hydroponic tomatoes. Although, if you look at MHP Gardener, his hydroponic tomatoes are wonderful looking. Um, I, here's what a store-bought tomato is: they take a green tomato and they put um, gas to it, and that turns it not, not gasoline. They put um, I've got argon on the brain. It's not argon. It'll come to me in ethylene, ethylene gas. Um, same thing that's produced by any ripening fruit puts out ethylene gas. They take a green tomato, they harvest it, they gas it with ethylene, and it turns it red. It doesn't ripen it, it turns it red. Why do they do this? So they can ship it cross country. Have you ever taken a tomato out of your back garden that was ready to eat that day and squeezed it? It's not going to survive the trip to your car, much less the trip to California. Right. So when you buy, no matter if it's organic, no matter how it was grown, you go to the grocery store. And just by very definition of it having been shipped to your grocery store, that tomato is not going to taste like anything because it's the ripening process that turns, that makes, you wouldn't think of an acid tomato as having sugar, but it turns those, those uh, starches into sugars. In fact, you take a tomato that's wonderful, you stick it in the refrigerator, and those sugars turn back into starch, and it turns tasteless again. But every tomato that you've got in the grocery store that's, that's shipped in is picked green and then turned red. Again, it's not ripened at all. It's turned red by ethylene gas. As a matter of fact, here's an experiment. Take a green tomato, stick it in a paper sack with a banana. Two days later, you'll have a store-bought tomato. It tastes like nothing, but it's red, and it's beautiful, and it's hard as all get out, and it will survive being put in a, on the back of a truck over 25,000 miles. So when people compare mine, to, you know, mine don't look like store-bought. Mine, mine don't taste like store-bought either. There's no way in the world that you could you can ship good ripened tomatoes. It just won't happen. I would encourage anybody to go out on YouTube and look for, type in the words, Jimmy Doherty. Uh, he's a he's a farmer from, from Britain. Uh, D-O-H-E-R-T-Y. Uh, look up his global harvesting. He's got a, he goes and visits tomato farm in California. They have a giant machine that harvests all the tomatoes at one time, and there's this um, chain conveyor belt that takes it from the ground up to his hopper, and the chain actually rips all the leaves off the plant. They don't pick the fruit, they chop the plants down, and as it's going up the, the, this chain, the chain is ripping the leaves and the stalks off, and by the time it gets to the top, all that's left is the fruit. My thing is, if the fruit can survive the trip up a chain when the leaves can't, that fruit can't be worth anything. So anyway, <laughs> you go to the grocery store, no matter what the tomato looks like, it is a green tomato. They're all green tomatoes that have been turned red, so thus ends my rant. So buy okay. local. <laughs> buy local. Right. That's the best advice you could probably give is buy local. How about and, you, Margie? Do you grow them? Oh, uh, this is my first year growing tomatoes, and I do have some pictures on my um, personal profile, uh, if anybody would like to see those. But right now, um, it seems 